this contest has been one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. And I've dealt with some crap. I'm sitting here competing against other women, other men, couples that deserve this just as much, if not more, than I do. They're good people. And they want to have a baby. And it's absolutely killing me to have to compete with these people. I want this. I want this so bad. I'm a support group leader for other women and men dealing with infertility. And I try to help them make it through another month of pregnancy announcements and gender reveal parties and periods and negative pregnancy tests. And we do this every month. And some of us have done this every month for years. We've saved and we've done fundraisers and we've sold things. I have this beautiful, beautiful black truck. I've loved this truck. We worked so hard to be able to afford this truck. And we had to sell it. Spencer and I swore that if it ever came down to IVF that we just wouldn't do it. It's just too much and it's too hard. How are we ever going to come up with $23,000? I don't know that I can keep competing against other couples who need this just as badly as we do. I've never in my life taken something from someone that needed it. And I feel like that's what I'm doing with this and it's killing me. Every step closer I get is a step further for somebody else. I've dreamt about having a baby with my husband for years. About what a little boy would look like. About what a little girl would be like. We've talked about what room in our house they would go in. How we would decorate their nursery. What we would name them. Everyone by now I'm sure has seen the video. They've seen our box. There are more items than what ended up in the video. There's more pain than we can stick in a four minute video. And I know I'm not the only one. I know that every one of those couples has more pain than they can stick in a four minute video. And it's not gonna change. There are over 120, or around 120 couples that have submitted videos for IVF. And one, one is gonna get it. And the other 119 of us And then we get to sit down with our husbands and we get to say, what now? What next? Now what do we do? Because just because this contest is over doesn't mean any of us are any closer than we were a month ago. Spencer and I have been so blessed. <clears throat> and we've been able to do a lot to help a lot of other people. And I'm so grateful for that. When I first heard about this contest, I thought, oh man, wouldn't that be nice, right? Spencer and Shay, we want to be winners. 
And then you start to play it through. And you say, oh my god, what would we do if we won? If we won this IVF, like, what would we do? All that money that we've tried to save for this. Oh my god, we could have everything that we needed for the nursery. We could help somebody else. I know that we're not going to win. I know. <laughs> it's a popularity contest. Are you kidding me? I know we're not going to win. And that's hard. It's hard to deal with and it's hard to know that and it's hard to carry that weight on my shoulders. And this doesn't just hurt for me. This isn't just my pain. This is my husband's pain too. This is my husband holding my hand while I'm crying for the upteen thousandth time. Because what are we going to do?